Hello, I'm Bad Eye Brisket, the bonkers butcher of Birmingham. Welcome to my world. Right, Tom, I'm just going down to see Farmer Giles now. Can you get those legs of pork done for me? Alright, Barry. Thank you, mate. See you later. It won't be long. Get out of it. Right, so as you heard, I'm just going down to see Farmer Giles. Bit of rural Birmingham for you to say. Bit worried about their dogs, but never mind. Let's get on. Get the egg orders sorted out. So, right, in. See you in Just approaching the farm. Who was a bit wary of dogs? Just keep walking. Right, we're in rural Birmingham now, <laughs> heading towards Farmer Giles's uh, farm. He's not actually called Farmer Giles, he's actually Palish. His first name is George and his, his last name is, well to me it's unpronounceable. But he doesn't mind me calling him Farmer Giles, in fact he quite likes it. But his last name's got a lot of P's in, it's got a lot of J's in, a few T's and a few Z's. It just looks like Russia Jesus to me, and I'm sure that's totally wrong. Um, anyway, so I'm popping in today to sort out our egg order for the shop. We'd like to have lots of fresh eggs, including duck eggs and pigeon eggs and all sorts of things. Give a bit of variety in the egg world. So anyway, I don't know if you can hear anything in the background. Possibly not, it's a bit quiet at the moment. But it's actually the owner of dogs. In fact, alongside the farm, he actually runs a pet hotel where normally if you go past, there's dogs woofing all the time. And I'm not a, not a, not a fan of dogs, really, although we do sell a lot of bones in the shop and I'll pet them if necessary. So I came here once and I'll tell you a story about that. Just let me move on a bit. Yes, I came here once and it invited me around, um, not only to get the egg order, but also if I'd like a whiskey. But I'm not a big spirits drinker, but you know, sometimes you've got to be polite. And I know he's had a lot of dogs, he's had Alsatian, he's had Dachshunds, Pomeranians, uh, Springer Spaniels, King Charles Spaniels, all sorts of dogs he's had. And, and I didn't know he got this new one, a Whippet called Ginger apparently and the whippets can be quite lively especially as a puppy so I'm in his kitchen right and he says oh mate mate Ginger and Ginger comes rushing in like like a dog out of hell and shoves its skinny little nose right in my crotch and it proceeds to like smell me around there for ages it was a bit embarrassing and it nearly knocked my whiskey over as well and then we went to move into the front room he come around there, tries to sit on my knee this, this bony little dog sitting on my knee right licking my face it's disgusting, I don't know what it did out for tea but I think it is all over my face and beard which was not, former Giles just laughing he goes oh isn't it funny, isn't it funny I don't think it was really fun I to be honest with you. Anyway, so the, the, I tried to push it off when he went, you know, into the kitchen to get his order pad. And, um, and it sat on the floor in, the, in a spatch-cocked position, position. You know, like chickens, when you, when you split them down the middle and the legs are akimbo. That's what it was like. I've never seen a dog do that in my life. And we were sitting there, then he starts farting. Right, I, I don't know if you've ever smelled dog's farts, I'm sure some of you have, but to be honest with you, it's, it's bloody disgusting, I mean, it's, it's just, a, a, ugh. I mean, I, mean, I, you know, I think I'd trodden in some cow muck on the way into his farm, but, but I, I don't know, it's just, a, that, that was not a bad smell, it's a sweetie, grassy smell, compared with, you know, the bloody dog jumping all over my, oh, goodness me, is it a, 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 that is, that is a, pfft, a oh, uh, George, <laughs> guys, the dog. George, <laughs> I felt sick. It was horrible. Eventually, he gets the dog out of the room and it starts yapping in the other room. 
Like this, do you know, I've never been so pleased to get out of anywhere with this dog. Oh, as I say, I don't mind dogs, and except once upon a time when I was a young nipper and I was on the butcher's bike, and a little little Jack Russell chased me down the road for about about five miles. God, I never cycled so fast in my life, and there it was nipping at my heels. <laughs> you know, you know what they say about the dog if it's been aggressive, you know, so eventually I did have to get off the bike when it's been aggressive, you, you're supposed to behave in a submissive manner and there's my, you know, on this side straight with, with the Jack Russell going oh, at me and I'm going, oh, nice doggy, nice doggy, oh, I roll on my back and he sat on my face, a, a little Jack Russell squatty arse sat on my face Oh dear mate, anyway I think that's enough doggy stories for today, hope you have a good day, let's see what happens with our egg order, <laughs> hopefully he's got them all in, oh no it's too a bit, too a bit, say hello to, too a bit from rural Birmingham, <laughs> say hello to then, oh god what's he got now, how do I, I can see this big fluffy thing, it looks like a poodle on those, what they call them, labradoodles or something, oh George, come in mate, come in, Oh God, here we go.